Today we're going to be drawing and painting a gecko with printed leaves over top. You can use the guided drawing handout to help you draw your gecko today. Start drawing on your black piece of paper with a black marker. Your gecko's head needs to be as big as your hand up at the top left corner of your page. So on step one, we're going to draw the shape or the line of the gecko's head, and it needs to be pretty big. So using your hand, put it down on your paper and just see about how big your gecko's head should be to start out with. I'm drawing some dots and then I'm just gonna trace them. So I make my gecko's head big enough. Use the guided drawing to finish steps one through six. And remember that each body part is just a simple line or a shape. To add color to your gecko today, choose two complementary colors. I chose red for my gecko's body and I'm going to add green polka dots over top. You can choose whichever two complementary colors you'd like. Make sure you're nice and neat and take your time when adding the dots so that they don't look sloppy. I'm dipping the tip of my brush in the green paint and just adding tiny little dots. Once your paint is dry, you'll use a black oil pastel to draw around most parts of your gecko. This will make him seem like he kind of has a three-dimensional form. And lastly, and the most fun, at least I think the most fun part, is printing some leaves around the outside edge of your paper and overlapping a little bit on top of your gecko. I have some of these rubber leaves, but if you wanna use a real leaf, we can go outside in the courtyard and collect some. Using a mixture today of blue, yellow, and green, paint the veiny side or the textured side of your leaf. You can mix the colors. It's totally up to you, but you need to make sure you're painting the side with the veins. Once you're happy with your color mixture on your leaf, go ahead and flip it over and just press lightly on top of your paper. You're going to repeat this step a couple of times, filling up the whole outside edge of your paper and overlapping on top of your gecko a little bit too if you'd like. some finishing touches I went around my eyes with a white colored pencil and then back in again with a black marker for the pupils. 